Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here with the brand new Lowrance Ghost trolling motor. Had one now for a couple of months. Gonna go over some of the features and why you may want one on your next boat. Hey guys, going to go over some of the key features on this new trolling motor, what's new, what's interesting about it, why you're going to want one of these on your next boat. Super, super excited about this. I'm um, going to be doing some comparison videos on this trolling motor versus new Ultrex, but one of the things I wanted to start off here, I'm going to start at the very bottom, working from the prop all the way up to the foot pedal, going over some of the key features on this stuff. Some really, really interesting stuff that Lowrance is really bringing to the market that we're super excited about. Again. We've known about this for, I think, about two years now. Um, we've had this prototype here three or four months now. So really awesome trolling motor. Super excited about it. Can't wait to get these things uh, on more boats and get more on these. Production for these is supposed to actually, they're slating it right now for October 2019 when these will be available. MSRP on this is going to be $2,999, so basically what a new HDS-12 Live retails for. So to get started with this, I'm going to flip this thing upside down here and uh, get started with the prop and some of the other stuff features on here. Here's start. First thing, prop. Basic trolling motor prop, two blades, very similar to competitor products out there. Still has a little a little curve here, if you will, on here. Super efficient, but that's not what makes up the efficiency of this trolling motor. This right here does. So the motor aspect behind this, what's different about this? One of the first trolling motors to the market with a brushless system. So what does brushless mean to you? Way more efficiency, way more thrust, less maintenance and less things to go wrong. You don't have as many wearable parts on this like you do a brush motor. So your main code Ultrexes, your Fortrexes, your motor guide, X5, XI5, Tour Edition trolling motors, all that stuff uses a brushed motor. That's why it's this long instead of this. This one's shorter, it is bigger around. Second key feature that I really, really love about this, you have replaceable or interchangeable transducers built into the head of this trolling motor here. Now this trolling motor will come standard with an HDI transducer. So that'll give you down imaging, 2D sonar, right here that comes already built in that is standard here's the kicker for this though they're working on a three in one nose cone that'll fit on here it comes out a little far forward we've seen some early model stuff from them the cool thing about this you yourself the customer can change that yourself there's a big allen head set screw you pop that off there's another allen head set screw in here it's a double seal pull the cone off put a little bit of grease around the o-ring put your connector together. It's a sealed cone protection. So some of you guys that have had Minn Kota Ultrexes, Fortrexes, US2 Sonar, MDI, if you've ever broken that transducer built into the trolling motor, you are removing the trolling motor, taking it to guys like us, your ASC center, and having it replaced and paying for all the labor to do that. Right here, the customer, the owner is able to do that themselves and you do not void the warranty. So that was something that we were really pushing for. Really like that aspect of that. Fancy little fin here on the back, back of the trolling motor as well too. This is a replaceable piece back here, so there are some seals. If you get line wrapped around here and compromise a seal, this can be replaced as well too very easily. Again, guys, they've really thought about this trolling motor. Works with lead acid batteries, lithium batteries, your AGM batteries. This technically is a smart motor, as what I like to call it. And the reason for that is if it ever gets too many volts, it will shut down. Now, the other key feature about this brushless motor, which is super, super cool, this is a 24 or a 36 volt system. There's a button on the foot pedal. I'll show you how we can change this from 24 to 36 volts. But for you guys that have an 18 foot or 19 foot boat, let's say a 19.8. One of the very first boats I had was 19 foot, eight inches long, rated for a 200. It's on the cusp of, do you need 24 or 36 volts? Well, let me here to tell you. The 24 volt system is damn near 100 foot pounds of thrust. So I should say 100 pounds of thrust, not foot pounds. So this is coming in just a hair under 100. The 36 volt selection on this with three batteries is coming in between 120 and 125. So tons of power. So on the 19 foot boats, this thing is hauling. The other 
awesome feature of a brushless motor right here again, efficiency. From our testing that we've seen running at wide open, so that would basically be 10 on the dial, um, you're gonna be about 40% more efficient running at 10 all the time. When you back it down to 60% of your thrust, you're actually 60% more efficient. So guys that are batteries are wearing out in about 10 hours, you're now gonna wear them out in about 16 hours. So you guys that uh, are fishing way up north and have those 15, 16 hours of daylight, you're gonna be able to stay out there longer without having to charge. The other thing is for you guys that are just fishing occasionally on the weekends and want to go back to back days, you're not going to have to have the charger on near as long to charge your batteries because you're not going to be wearing them down as fast. So really cool system here going on this. Now we're going to jump up to the top of the trailer motor and go over some stuff on that. Key feature I want to point out first thing on this, the shaft rotates right here. Doesn't rotate up at the head. So on an Ultrex where your mount spins right here, you don't have to worry about that your angles right here. So it's a lot easier to install, install a external transducer if you want to. Don't really know why you need to unless you're running a competitor brand of products of electronics. But 360 mount, heavy duty, spring in there as you can tell right there. Have a stabilizer arm built into it. Got a magnetic indicator up here. So always shows which way you're going. It's got LED lights in it, pretty bright. I'll be honest, I think we're working on actually uh, dimming that down a little bit. This is something that's really cool right here. We're gonna talk about this later. Be sure to check out our video where we're actually utilizing this trolling motor. And I wanna show you what this really neat uh, hook right here is for. It's actually pretty ingenious of that. Big question here, is it a cabled system? It's not. These do not have traditional cables in them like trolling motors from the past. This is technically a fly-by-wire system. You got a stepper motor in here that controls the turning of the, the lower shaft, all composite lower shaft, lifetime warranty to the original owner. Super, super cool product, you guys. I, again, I think you guys know and appreciate that we are brutally honest with a lot of these products here. This is an amazing, amazing trolling motor. The price is high, but it's worth it in comparison. Guys that are buying these trolling motors, I... I <laughs> I'd love to see this on my dad's boat. My dad's got an 18 and a half foot Ranger with a 175, 185 Ranger. I bet it'd make this thing fly. We've actually had this here on a 20 foot Skeeter. Does amazing on it. You aluminum boat guys that have like an RT-188 or a Triton aluminum boat, this thing will, will absolutely fly that boat around. It's gonna be really exciting to see this on some aluminum boats. But the cool feature about this guys, you've got full integration. So like a Link, Ultrax, you've got integration with Lowrance Carbon Units, Live Units, Elite TI2 product. It will not integrate, what I mean by integrate, you cannot control it from your unit if you're running a Gen 3 or older unit or an Elite TI unit. So you've got to step up, again, Elite TI2, the Carbon Units, or the new Live. So again, the stuff that Lowrance is continuing to support, that product line is going to integrate with this as well. So when it comes back to that price point, some of the things that we've talked about, it's $3,000. The, the highest, biggest shaft Ultrex comes in, it's roughly about the same price with, again, full integration of Link and MDI transducer on that. But this is coming out 47 inch length shaft. That's to start with. They're working on a 52 and a 60 for you big water guys that have to have that longer style shaft. Um, I think they felt this was the best shaft to be able to go with, be able to move everything on there. So again, really, really awesome trolling motor. Um, I'm just so excited about all the features of this thing. I'm sorry to keep rambling on about this. Um, next, we're going to go over to the actual foot pedal and show some really awesome features on that. All right, this brings us to the foot pedal, what we really care about when we're on the boat, right? So a bunch of key features on here. One of the first things I want to point out, if you notice, again, fly by wire. So what we've got here is when you move that foot pedal, the buttons that we care about move along with the foot pedal. So they're not fixed to the base and you're not moving the foot pedal. Now, what exactly does that mean for you, the angler? Well, for guys like me that have had the Minn Kota Ultrexes, I can tell you on countless times I've accidentally hit the constant button, I've hit the heading lock button, I don't think I've ever really hit the anchor button too much, but it's been a problem where you end up going down and next thing you know, your trolling motor's on constant. You're trying to bump it off, a all, all, lot of problems with that. 
Another cool thing is not only do we have, we've got our anchor button and our heading lock, we have two programmable buttons over here. Now you can program these, these are Bluetooth, so you can program these to your power poles if you're running a set of power poles. You can program one to run a waypoint for you. So the days of the past of bending over and kind of making it obvious you're setting a waypoint or trying to use your, your butt tip of your rod there to set the waypoint button or maybe even a remote for some of you guys had remotes in your pockets. You can actually do it with just a press of your foot now to be a little bit more secretive about it. And again, run the power pulls from it as well too. So instead of having stuff mounted on your deck that you know, your potential to step on, co-angler step on, whatever, you've got it all seamless right here on your foot pedal. Second thing that's really cool, you motor guide in Minn Kota, there's always been the controversy. It's a button need to be on the left side or the right side of the foot pedal. Well, now you've got the choice. You can do both. Um, Lowrance calls it their flip switch right here, and standard it comes is gonna be similar to a Minn Kota um, button on off switch on the left hand side of the foot pedal, but there's a bracket right here. We'll have another video on showing you how to rotate this, but you can literally, it's as simple as rotating this, this flip switch and putting it over on the other side. It takes less than a minute to do. And it's really cool because the guys that are so used to running those uh, motor guide trolling motors can have that button right where they're used to having it. So it's nice to be able to switch it out. You've got a, 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 a speed dial over here, same way. Turn it all the way up. Don't have to click it into place. Here's the really cool thing. We were talking about that 24, 36 volt system. How easy is it to change out? Well, you've got a button down here to turn it on. And that button to turn it on right here also controls whether you're selected in 24 or 36 volt system. Now, I wouldn't recommend, or this isn't to a point of being, oh, well, I can just do this on the fly when you've got it hooked up for 36. What this is here, if you're going to maybe start out with a 19 foot boat, but may upgrade in the future, you can use the same trolling motor for when you guys upgrade to a 21 foot boat. Add the extra battery, add the extra jump wire, you already have the trolling motor for it. Second thing is you have a battery indicator right here that runs low, medium to high to show you how much life you got left in your batteries. That is also standard on here. Again, guys, with the efficiency of this, you can use any battery that's currently available. Not only are you gonna last longer on the, longer on the water, but you're gonna have less maintenance to do on this because you've got less wearable parts, mostly due to the brushless motor versus a brushed motor, which you see on a bunch of competitor products out here. So brand new from Lowrance, again, Here's a first look at their foot pedal. Lowrance Ghost is what they're calling the trolling motor. Again, super, super excited about this, guys. A um, couple of the cable stuff that we've got on here. NEMA 2000 cable. It will come with a T connection as well, too. So you do need to have a NEMA system installed on your boat if you want to utilize the integration features. Now, you don't have to have a Lowrance Electronics. You don't have to have it hooked up to have your units control it. It will pair with live units, carbon units or elite ti2 product it will not pair for the integration with anything older than that again this is what lawrence is currently supporting and newer so units that come out from the future or in the future will be able to pair with this got your your this is going to be a nine pin adapter it'll come with that adapter to be able to plug into the back of your unit so that'll work again the carbon elite TI2 product and the new live units. It plugs into the nine port on the back of those units. And then this right here is gonna plug into your puck. Now this is gonna come standard what looks like a 0.1 antenna, but actually it's more along the lines of a precision nine compass. Now what that is, is it is a puck that is designed to help with the jog feature and also the spot, fe spot lock feature or anchor feature as they're gonna call it on that boat. You can get an extension cable. You don't have to have it directly mounted on the very bow of the boat. You can have it mounted on the stern. However, it's got the plug-in right here for it. We've got ours mounted on our prototype boat. Literally, I think we're less than a foot away from it in terms of just, you know, linear movement, just less than a foot away from it. Um, great success so far. Love the product. Again, guys, this is an amazing, amazing trolling motor. So final piece of the equation, the mount. Now, we do have a gas-assisted lift right here, very similar to products that have already been out there on the market. It's, it works out really, really well. Not only is the lift assist to help deploy the trolling motor, but also to stow the trolling motor as well, too. Now, I will say one of the things that I'm really glad that they thought of, mounting holes for the mounting bracket. It's double drilled. And what I mean by that is if you have a motor guide, 
Tour Edition or XI5 or a four Trex or an Ultrex, this will fit the same hole pattern. So you're not gonna have to make the front of your boat look like Swiss cheese. Again, beefy mount, super heavy, getting tired of holding this thing here, going over everything. One of the things I will say about this, the motor itself, and what I mean by is the brushless motor is I think about five to six pounds lighter than the brush motor that's on a 36 volt Ultrex. However, the 360 mount is heavy. This mount is heavy. I think weight wise, side by side, they're gonna end up being comparable. I mean, really, really close. But we've got a comparison video coming out on a 36 volt Minn Kota Ultrex versus this trolling motor right here. So because of that, we're gonna do a comparison video of a 36 volt Minn Kota Ultrex 112 versus the Lowrance Ghost trolling motor. So be sure to check out that comparison head-to-head -head competition video right here at russellmarineproducts.com.